few different things inspired me to write this book. One was discovering the Orisha, um, which is the West African religion and mythology that's heavily featured in the book. When I discovered them, it was the first time I had ever seen African gods and goddesses, and I never even knew that that could exist. So when I saw that, my imagination exploded, and I could see the magic, I could see the world, I could see them see them riding through the jungle on giant lions and really the world of the story came first um, but the heart of the story came because of what was going on in America and what's still going on um, when I was writing this book police brutality was rampant and I just felt like I was constantly bombarded with headlines and news stories and hashtags of innocent black men, women, and children who had been killed by police officers. I knew I wanted to write this big West African fantasy, but I also knew that I needed to write a story about what was going on um, for black people and especially what it felt like. You know, the fear that comes with sitting in your car and not wanting to drive because you don't want to get shot going to the grocery store or the fear that one day you're going to get that call and it's going to be your older brother or your dad or your cousin. Um, so so this, you know, Children of Blood and Bone was sort of the, the merging of both of those books and